Hi guys, it's Mike from the Recover It channel, the ultimate program that provides you professional data solutions. In today's video, we're gonna discuss what to do when your MacBook screen goes black. Despite being really reliable machines, even MacBooks can run into some different types of technical errors. The black screen is one of those errors that many MacBook users encounter. So in this video, we'll share different solutions that will help you troubleshoot the MacBook black screen problem and fix your laptop all by yourself. Before we start with today's video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and press that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future updates. First, let's understand why the MacBook Pro screen goes black. It's important to understand that a MacBook screen can turn black due to a dozen reasons. So it can be quite difficult to pinpoint the primary cause of the problem, but there are a few common factors that can most likely cause the MacBook screen to turn black. These factors include when macOS has upgraded recently or by a third-party application. Have you upgraded macOS or installed a new third-party application? If yes, that might be the culprit. In many cases, new software updates have incompatibility issues, which can trigger different technical errors, and hence probably the Mac screen has gone black due to the new update. The second reason could be an improper connection between the power source and your Mac. It's possible that your Mac and the power source are not connected properly. We overlook these simple issues and this can create chaos. So if you need to check the MacBook is connected to the power source, then do it because this can cause a problem. And lastly, it could be because of an incorrect setting or security issue. If you have an issue with the system settings, this can also cause the MacBook screen to turn black. Therefore, you must reset it. Regardless of what causes the screen to go black, you can try different troubleshooting methods to fix the problem. First, let's start with the first solution on our list. First and foremost, check if the MacBook has any juice left in it or not. Try pressing the power on button and see if you hear any sounds from the speakers or cooling fans. In case nothing happens, there's a huge probability that the battery is completely drained. In this uh, situation, connect your MacBook to its power source using the charger and wait at least 10 minutes. While you're at it, make sure that the charging cable hasn't experienced any physical damage and ensure that it's supplying proper power to the MacBook. If it's not turning on at all, the battery might need replacing by a professional or repair it yourself, but do this at your own risk, of course. There could also be an issue around the battery and the circuitry around it, so it might need to be again looked at a professional. Next, let's try restarting the MacBook. If your MacBook screen went black without any prior warning, but it still turns on, you may want to restart it once. In many cases, this black screen error gets triggered due to heavy usage. For instance, if you are running too many applications at the same time, they are most likely going to consume all the resources of your computer and trigger issues like the black screen error. So restart the device and see if the problem is fixed or not. You can do a hard reset by pressing and holding the power button for 10 seconds. Another way to fix the MacBook black screen error is to reset the NVRAM, also known as the PRAM. For people who don't know, NVRAM stands for non-volatile random access memory that your MacBook uses to store different settings, for example, on your screen, speakers, hard drives, etc. The primary function of the NVRAM is to load all these settings quickly and start up the initial boot process. But the NVRAM can also cause different errors on your MacBook. So it's always a good idea and good strategy to reset it if your MacBook screen has gone black. Firstly, turn off your MacBook and press the power button again. Then immediately press and hold the Command, Option, P and R keys simultaneously. Wait for a few seconds and release the keys when you see the Apple logo flashing on your screen. That's it. It will reset the NVRAM on your MacBook and you won't have to deal with the black screen on your MacBook anymore. If you still see the black screen on your MacBook, the next step would be to reset the System Management Controller or SMC, as that is responsible for managing all the hardware on your laptop. This process will only work with MagSafe laptops. So here's how to reset the SMC on your MacBook. 
Turn off your device and connect it to this power source. Make sure that you use the MagSafe charger during the process. Now, keep the MacBook off and simultaneously press and hold the Shift Control Option Power Keys for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, release the keys and turn on the MacBook to see if the black screen issue is resolved or not. Finally, if none of the solutions work, then you can try to fix the black screen problem by reinstalling macOS on your computer. Since reinstalling the entire operating system may cause data loss, it will be better to back up all your files beforehand. Here's how to reinstall macOS on your MacBook. Restart your laptop and press and hold the Command and R keys to enter recovery mode. You'll see the Utilities window on the screen. Here, click Install macOS option and click Continue. Based on which macOS you are running, follow the on-screen instructions to reinstall the operating system. Due to the MacBook black screen error, many users also end up losing valuable files and folders, especially when the screen goes black without any prior warning. So if you are facing the same problem, we recommend using Wondershare Recovery Data Recovery to recover your Mac data. Wondershare Recover is a professional data recovery tool that will help you retrieve all sorts of files and lost files on your MacBook. The tool supports multiple data types, which means that you'll be able to recover pictures, videos, documents, and more. Let's quickly walk you through the step-by-step -step procedure of using Wondershare Recover to retrieve lost data on a MacBook. First of all, you're going to need another computer and a blank USB drive. Connect the USB drive to the computer. Now install and launch Recover It on your system to get started. On the home screen, select Recover From Crash Computer and click Start. You can now see the Recover It Quick Guide window on your screen. You can also click Refer to Video Guide for an extended version of the information. Now get your USB drive and insert it in order to create the bootable media. Click the drop down menu arrow in the box and choose the blank drive. Click start after that. Make sure that you have a blank drive as this will wipe everything from the USB drive in order to create sufficient space. Hit on the format button and wait for the formatting process to complete. Recover it will now begin to create a bootable media on your computer. Make sure to not disconnect it from your computer during this process. Now, get the Mac that isn't working and connect the bootable drive to it. While restarting, press and hold the Option key. Now choose Recover It Bootable Media Drive when you see it. Plug in a hard drive that is in good state. Select the hard drive and hit Start Copy. Lastly, choose the files that you want to copy. The process of copying data will now begin. Within a few minutes, a copy files completed message will come up. So that's how you can fix the MacBook black screen error. Thanks for watching today's video and make sure to drop us a like on this video and comment down below. If you found this video helpful, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure to hit that notification bell so you get updated of all our latest videos. Anyway, look after yourselves and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.